Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to present case on bilateral congenital lamellar cataract. Uh, prevalence of childhood cataract is 1.2 to 13.6 cases per 10,000 children. It's a treatable, it's a leading cause of childhood blindness. So it accounts for 7.4 to 15.3% of pediatric blindness. Lamellar or zonular cataract is a hereditary cataract. It is transmitted in an autosomal dominant mode. Uh, it affects one or more layer of lens irregularly and asymmetrically. Most often, the fetal, uh, fetal nucleus, generally the embryonic nucleus is not affected. In the case, 15-year-old male child from Sadgavan came with the complaints of both eye diminution vision since childhood, antenatal history was une uneventful, birth history and weight uh, it was une uneventful, and uh, developmental milestones achieved as per age. If father have, was diagnosed to have congenital cataract, on examination, visual acuity distant, it was uh, right eye 5 by 60 with pinhole not improving. In left eye, it was 6 by 60 with pinhole not improving. Near vision was n in both eye. External examination of child was uh, normal. On slit lamp examination, late conjunctiva scleral corneal examination was in normal. Uh, anterior chamber examination was normal in uh, depth and content. Iris was also normal in uh, color and pattern. Pupil round, regular, and reacting bilaterally. On lens examination, the image is shown here. Opacity is noted in the central core of nucleus with small linear opacities like spokes of wheel seen towards the equator suggesting lamellar cataract. IOP was 16 mm of mercury uh, in right eye, left eye 14 mm of IG, rope blast was negative bilaterally and fundus was within normal limit. So, yeah, so congenital cataract basically unilateral and bilateral. Unilateral cataract causes ocular abnormalities, traumatic, idiopathic, and uh, bilateral cataract is maternal infections like torch, hereditary, genetic, or metabolic, and idiopathic. Uh, evaluation of the pediatric cataract include history, special emphasis on family history to rule out uh, hereditary causes, history of child growth, development and systemic disorder followed by genetic evaluation, physical examination uh, in examination part, physical examination followed by vi uh, visual function, corneal diameter, any abnormality in the iris, anterior chamber depth, cataract morphology, posterior segment evaluation and in ocular imaging, B scan and ultrasound biomicroscopy was uh, included. In investigation, if the patient is uh, known known to have hereditary, then it is uh, we can avoid it. But in uh, undiagnosed case, we should go for uh, CBC, blood sugar, torch titers, VDRL, blood urea nitrogen, red cell galactokinase, serum, calcium, and phosphorus. Uh, Union an analysis was also included. Unilateral cataract does not typically require extensive diagnostic evaluation. Axial length measurement was done by uh, in this case ultrasound by uh, microscopy. Keratometry, especially, uh, we, have, we have to check the readings. Uh, in younger child, it can obtain under general anesthesia using handheld keratometer. The IL power calculation, uh, we have to uh, see the child. If the if we aim at emetropic child, uh, if, if we give IL at emetropic power, it risks myopia when the child matures. And if we aim for early hyperopia, then it may predispose to child to amblyopia. Uh, so under correction, according to the Dahans and residue formula, like 20 less than two years, 20 percent under correction, two to eight years, 10 percent under correction. According to post, one to two years, 20 percent, two to four years, 15 percent under correction, and four to eight years, 10 percent under correction. Uh, so the basically uh, the take home message for that the childhood cataract requires early detection and timely treatment unique surgical management is different from the adult cataract amblyopia aggressive treatment is needed and lifelong uh, follow up is mandatory to check for retinal detachment and glaucoma thank you